Employees rarely are motivated for things that don't have something in it for them. So how can you build motivation for safety? Coming up. Welcome to Safety Hearts and Minds, online courses and videos designed to help you energize safety, build teamwork, and get employee buy-in. How do we motivate employees to be enthusiastic about safety? I get that question a lot. First, let me say employees rarely get motivated for anything that doesn't have something in it for them. People don't buy into something they feel is pushed down onto them. You're going to need to involve your people in a way that makes them feel part of the team and part of the decisions that are being made. And most of all, before you do any of that, you're going to have to make some decisions in three different areas about what kind of safety program you're building. So let's talk about those three key parts that'll help with selling your safety program more effectively. First, decide what your particular brand of safety is. Is it just to meet the bare minimum or is it to encourage participation and ownership? Is, is yours a budget brand of safety that checks the boxes and meets the minimums but not much else? Or are you a premium product of safety, one that exceeds minimums, helps your team become part of a world-class organization? So first, decide what your particular brand of safety is, budget or premium. Second, focus on benefits. What are the benefits? Well, safety training prepares your people to be able to deal with uncertainty. It trains your people to react well. It builds their personal confidence to make good choices because they know exactly what to do. Besides, safe people are just more dependable. And people who don't follow safety don't get put in charge. Remember, saying stuff like, you don't get hurt, is not a benefit. A benefit is a clear positive, not avoiding a negative. So the second part is about being clear about identifying their benefits. And finally, the third part is to find ways to get your people more wins. So what makes it a win? And don't say going home safe because going home safe is not a win. Going home safe is what they're supposed to do. That's the law. Meeting the bare minimum is not a win. It's the least you're allowed to do by law. Besides, most of your people already go home safe now. They don't have to do anything different to get the same result. So to get a win, you want them to do something different. Safety wins are about improving results and nothing motivates like success. So the more success opportunities you put in front of them, the more they're likely to achieve many small wins. Give your people more wins. That's the third part. To be more effective at selling the safety program, you need to address all three parts, brand, benefits, and wins. Now, if that's helpful and you want to get more, subscribe to my weekly blog and my YouTube channel. And coming very soon, watch for the launch of Kev Burns Learning, online courses designed to help you energize safety, build teamwork, and get employee buy-in.